Hey, what's up, you guys? So, I'm back with another video this week. Um, I'm sorry about last week that I didn't post one for you guys. I just wasn't kind of feeling creative, I guess. I had an idea for something, but I decided it's probably best just to, like, put it off to later, and yeah. So, this week, I kind of realized that it's been pretty much almost a year since I graduated from high school. So, I thought, what would be better than to do my makeup that I used to do in high school. I used to do a lot of different looks throughout high school. Um, this video is pretty much going to be focusing on what I did sophomore and freshman year because those were just like the worst. And where I'm at with makeup right now is like really crazy. And I look pretty busted right now as you can tell I have no makeup on right now. I look pretty busted um, those years. Right now I got like my acne flaring up because I've been super stressed lately and my face used to be like a hundred million thousand times worse back then. Plus I was ugly and it was just really awkward so hopefully I look better than I do now but I guess we'll see. Alright so let's get started. So this is pretty much what I would wear in high school. I don't really know if you can see it. It's pink Victoria's Secret. That was literally 98% of my wardrobe. Like freshman through junior year that's all I wore. So I'm wearing this right now to have inspiration for what we're gonna do. I do not have the exact makeup that I used to wear, so I just got things pretty similar to it. So first things first. I'm the realest, realest. Drop this and let the whole world feel it. I never moisturized. My skin is super duper oily. It just didn't make sense to me why you had to moisturize before putting on makeup. Cause I was like, well, then that would just make my face more oily. No. Like. It's good to moisturize, okay? I didn't know that. I also did not put primer on before I did makeup. So that also got my skin to get much worse because the makeup would just seep into my pores. So that was a no-no. What I'm using right now is Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This is the color Light Beige. This is much darker than my skin tone that I am right now. And pretty much back then, I would just wear, like, my foundation would just be way too dark for me. So... I found this in my closet, so I was like, all right. Back then, I used to wear a lot of like the Maybelline Fit Me, that's what I wore. We're gonna put this on right now. So when I did my makeup, I would pretty much just use a really gross and dirty brush, just your basic foundation brush. I put it right on the brush, and then directly onto my face. Oh, this is super dark, oh my god. This may or may not blend it, and you know, I would just brush it into my face and I would try to blend it but you know and this is the thing I only went up to here I didn't the girl didn't blend any further than my neck I was like you know I don't need to your girl would really like throw the foundation on I caked it and it didn't matter some spots They'd be maybe a little bit more streaky than others. I didn't really care. I thought I looked super good. I was like, yeah, I know how to do makeup and stuff. Also made sure I get my mouth, my eyes, and my eyebrows. All right, so that was pretty much it with the foundation. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? After that, I would set it set it with a pressed powder and it's just one of these things that i bought from walmart you know came with this brush i would use the powder just like this and i would just put it over where i just did my foundation and i would set it like that i just keep putting and putting until my face can't breathe no more make sure i get my lips too gotta match you know all right okay so that part's done. Now my makeup was very, very simple. So I used this palette by e.l.f. just because it was super cheap to get. And I really liked the colors. They were all nudes. I just really liked doing the nude palettes. So I would take my finger and depending on what I was wearing that day, I would pretty much try to coordinate it. So like for example, this is green. If I had another palette, I would do something that's like a little mix of green and blue. So I would pretty much use like this color all the way over here just because it like would match, you know? So I would just take that using my finger and I'd put it all over my eyelid. No prior, no nothing, ladies. We doing this quick. I had my makeup done in like 
15 minutes. And if I wanted to go like, you know, the extra way, I would take this color and just add it on top. Cause you know, what was the point of just putting all that already, you know? We want some glitter. The funny thing is you could see like the indentations of the ones I use the most. And I think that's what's super funny. Okay, so next is my liquid eyeliner. Many of you guys know that I am close to being a pro at my winged eyeliner, but it wasn't always that easy. I used to be really, really bad at it. So I'm gonna kind of recreate it using the one I use right now, Kat Von D. I don't have the one that I used to use. I used to use this one by e.l.f. Pretty much all my makeup was e.l.f., okay? So it was this one where it's like you have the little container and then you just kind of dip it and then you use it. I had one like that, but I didn't feel like going out and buying another one because I'm never going to use it ever again. So I'm like, I'll just do it with this. I'd start by making a line on my upper lash line. And I just tried to like make it straight as possible. A lot of times this line came out to be really thick on my eyelids and pretty uneven. And then my wing, I didn't even like try with my wing. It was shit, okay guys? Like, I have to try right now to make it bad. Okay, this doesn't look like completely like bad, but I mean, it's still bad. Like, it was bad, okay? And the thing is, my technique changed. I used to pull at my eyelids when I did my eyeliner. So that was also something really different that I did. All right, these are gonna look completely different, but that's how they always looked. And if I messed up, we just gonna make it a little bit more full. All right, so that looks pretty bad and accurate. I mean, this is pretty much how my eyeliner looks, but I think this is um, an understatement. It looks much worse than this. I actually like made it look better than what it did, but you know, whatever. And the thing is with my eyeliner, it said it was waterproof, I think, but it really wasn't because when I get to school in the morning, my eyes would get like super watery. And then in the inner corner from my eyes watering, it would take off all the eyeliner that was like in the corner right here. So it would just be like all white from the beginning of the day. So I'd start bringing my eyeliner and like redoing it. And it just looked like a mess. It looks terrible. And then next, because I thought my eyes looked super small, I wanted to make them look bigger. I would just take pencil eyeliner and I'd go on my waterline and fill it in. So you like that. And then that was my bottom eyeliner. We started in uh, grunge looks. Surprisingly, this was not my emo phase. That was in like fifth grade and it really wasn't an emo phase. It was just me wearing a lot of like black shirts and black nail polish and I was like, yeah, I'm emo. So, I mean, that was that. And then I used this mascara. Where'd it go? Where'd she go? I used this mascara by Maybelline, Great Lash. And you know, I pretty much just made them look like fucking spiders, you know? Like the spider legs. Cause I didn't know what false eyelashes were back then. I was like 14 years old. Like nobody used them back then, you know? So I would just make my eyelashes as long as possible i want those bitches to look long i want everyone to envy me and bask in my long lash glory and there'd be a lot of times i would get this in my eye and it burned like a bitch i went blind for like three seconds i would just do my bottom a little bit but a little bit to me was a lot like i want to be that grunge ass avril lavigne looking ass bitch so it'd pretty much be like that. I wouldn't reset or anything. If it was something really last minute, I'd be like, oh shit, I gotta get out the door, you know? And then I didn't do my eyebrows. We know, like, I can't leave the house if I do not do my eyebrows. I didn't do them. They stayed like this. I didn't know people did their eyebrows. And then I had started experimenting with highlighter. This is my first highlighter that I ever had. It's by NYX. It's honestly complete trash. <laughs> it didn't do anything. I would just use my fingers, go like this, and just... Put it right here. I want it to glow, guys. I want it to glow so bad. So I would just go like that. But I mean, it really left more of a white streak than um, 
a glow, I guess. It was definitely more of a streak. My nose too, cause I really want it to glow. The glow was in me, guys. It was, it really was in me. Last but not least, I always made sure I wiped off any foundation from my lips, if I remember, that is, if I remember. Cause I didn't always remember. Sometimes I went to school, these pale ass lips. And then I'd either put like chapstick or something. I didn't wear lipstick at the time. So I'd either put chapstick or I'd put a lip gloss like this over. And then it was just like that. I didn't do setting spray. I didn't do anything. It was like this and then I went out the door. For my hair, I either kept it like this if I was feeling kind of lazy or... So my bangs were a lot shorter than this because in like 6th, 7th grade, I got bangs in the front. So they were much shorter. They were like around right here. And they would be in my way a lot of times. So my hair, I would straighten it to a crisp. And then after I parted it all the way to the side, I take a bobby pin and I would just part it to the side like this. And throughout the day, it always falls. I'm having PTSD right now. Oh my god. So yeah, guys, this is this is what your girl looked like in high school. Um, I want to say I'm sorry for anyone that saw me in high school. Um, I was way more awkward. If you think I'm awkward now, um, honey, I was like this times like a thousand worse. I either thought I was like really ugly or I was like, oh, she's cute. Like I, like I had days where I was like, oh, I'm cute. Like I have to find pictures to like pull up and like, I want to pull up some pictures. Just wait. Look at this dude. <laughs> wait till you see the f <laughs> no 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 <laughs> look at his lips <laughs> so let's take a good look mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or not she don't want to zoom in. I don't blame her. I don't blame you. Um, the past is in the past, at least, I guess. So, yeah, I grew for the better. Um, this whole thing. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out all my socials below and then subscribe if you're not already because I'll be making sure that I'm posting more consistently starting this week. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.